Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. My name is Lauren Thorpe. I'm founder and CEO of Umba. We're a discovery platform for handmade goods. So we connect artists and consumers in a dynamic way um, by sharing the stories about the artists and teaching consumers how that how ethical buying purchases empower artists and help support them. So find, finding your dream job is never easy, but it can be boiled down into kind of three things. So you have to figure out what you're great at, what you love to do, what you're passionate about, and what you can actually get paid to do. And at the intersection of those three things, you'll find your dream job. Figuring out what you love to do really, it does take time. Um, you have to really know yourself. You have to know what you enjoy spending your time on. Um, and it requires some introspection. Um, for me, I was able to find my passion in the midst of wedding planning. Um, I had long been a fan of buying handmade, but it wasn't until I started planning my wedding and getting incredibly frustrated that I couldn't find handmade products that I love that I realized how passionate I was about handmade product. So products rather. It, so it kind of took um, took a little bit of a stumbling through for me to really identify that place of passion for me. So I think finding out what you're good at is a little bit easier than maybe finding your passion or figuring out what you can get paid to do. Um, most people know what they're good at. Um, you know if you're succeeding in a particular area um, at work. You know if you're a skilled communicator or a skilled, you know, skilled at doing analytics. Um, it's people typically praise you for things that you're good at. Um, if you don't ever get praise for anything, you might want to completely leave what you're doing and maybe try something new because people should appreciate at least one of your skills that you're that you're able to do. <laughs> If you don't inherently know um, what you can get paid to do, if that job maybe doesn't exist yet, um, it's going to be a little bit harder. But the good news is this is the age of entrepreneurs and startups, and you can create your own job. So for me, I was passionate about handmade goods, so I created a job, a business in the handmade industry, and I was able to fuse those three things together to really find my dream job of leading this company. So if you've done all those things and you still haven't found your dream job, it just takes more time. Spend more time kind of looking into yourself and maybe you haven't found something that you're passionate or it hasn't just clicked yet. Just keep experimenting, trying new things, taking classes. Um, there's lots of options. Um, network, continue to network. Maybe one of your friends or somebody in your community has a job that you don't know exists, but they love it and it could fit perfectly in kind of your skill set and passions. Um, so yeah, just, just give it more time. Don't give up. It's out there and it's possible, but it might just take a little more effort than maybe you're wanting to put into it. <laughs>